Hey guys and welcome to our Alsatian approved very first video. I'm here with my lovely Alsatian Chels, who you get to meet in a minute. And today I'm going to show you some of my weird and wonderful animals. But before we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. First let's meet our lovely Alsatian, also known as the German Shepherd herself, Chels. I've trained Chelsea myself and she knows how to do a lot of the basic stuff but I'm working on more complicated things but that is for another video so please don't forget to tune in for that one. First I'd like you to meet my lovely chickens. We've got two Isa Browns, a hen and a rooster plus a few mixed breeds of bantams and white suffix. I've raised these chickens since they were babies, every single one of them. They follow me around when I walk through their yard and always are looking for food from me. If you have any questions of any of the animals that I've shown or about to show, please feel free to ask in the comments below. This is another one of my pride and joys, Tex. He's basically a big dog that lives outside. Loves to nuzzle up and give lots of hugs and kisses, don't you boy? This is Tex's best friend, Dude. We've had Dude a little longer and he is a few years older and taller as you might be able to tell but he's very gentle and lovely also now just coming in to see the ducks they're very scared so i'll try not to get too close to them the ducks aren't the most friendly so i'll try not to get too close but i still want to give you a good look at them Here I've got a duck egg. Now, yes, it's dated, but that's because I had to get it out of the fridge because the ducks had not laid an egg today. And I thought, you probably want to know. Before I had my lovely Alsatian, also known as a German Shepherd, I had a St. Bernard. My St. Bernard was beautiful and so friendly. I had her since one year after I was born and she was not only one of my best friends, but also very protective of me and always kept me safe. Between St. Bernard's and German Shepherds, I don't really want any other breed of dog. You can like any breed of dog you like though, but to me, German Shepherds and St. Bernard's are just the cutest. We do have some more unique animals like Turtle here, who's in his 30s. He was previously my mum's, but he kind of been passed down. Now I said I had a weird pet, but I wouldn't call them weird, I'd call them cool. But you guys can be the judge of that. Tell me what you think. Notice anything different? Of course you do. You're noticing this. And I promise you it's not a scorpion, like I've had some people ask. It is in fact a spiny leaf stick insect. Here is one that's slightly older. It's a shed in front of this one, but they just love to chill out. They don't crawl too much. As you can tell, unlike normal stick insects, these ones have curly tails. They can have straight tails, but they tend to curl them up, especially if they're scared or if they're just trying to freeze and pretend they're not there like this one currently is. It thinks that you can't see it. This one, here, is slightly younger than the other one. It is only a shed behind, so it's not really younger. And I did get them at the same time, but slightly smaller, as you can see. It is also a lighter color, as we can see. They do interact with each other, but not really. If anything, they kind of just climb over each other to get to the next destination. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, please leave in the comments what you want my next video to be about. Thanks for watching. Bye!